and welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this week I am not on screen, fancy just kind of kicking back a little bit and uh, just showing you the cards really, showing you what, a, what, what your spread looks like. We're going to be doing um, a, I'll tell you the spread that we're doing this week and I'll show you the cards obviously as well. So firstly, uh, the cards that we're using this week are the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Uh, this is the one that I usually use for my clients. But you'll see that when I use this, I actually cut it down. I trimmed it. I'm one of those readers that watches all the trimming videos of cards and all of the edging and stuff. So I trimmed it and edged it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I only did it, actually, because I've got a second backup deck of this that hasn't been opened. So I thought, hey-ho. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use, probably for the first reading, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. I just love these cards. I've had these, like, a couple of years, never really used them. Uh, two, three years, I think, along with the, the other deck of his, the one in the blue box. And I never used them. Started using them, and they are incredible. So we're going to use those. And any clarifiers, any clarification we might need, guys, we will use the uh, the small radiant rider weight tarot in a tin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your week ahead reading. Hi Pisces, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. Thanks ever so much for joining me. So we are going to do your week ahead reading. It's the 23rd through to the 29th of Feb. Fancy just being using the cards, showing doing a HD video today via the camera and just kind of showing the cards and getting you to have a look at the spread. Just fancy doing that today. So we're going to do, first thing we're going to do is we're going to have a look at the, if you've looked at what decks I'm using, I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tower of the Heart. Whoopsie daisy, showing here. Um, oh, right. That's interesting, those should flip out. Three cards flipped out for you, and I'm going to use those. Okay, I'm going to use those on the top here, because it's saying that you're, you need to lead, you're refusing, to, you're daydreaming and you're refusing to see. Those just flipped out like really fervently. Okay, uh, Pisces, the cards are laid out. We also look at what's at the bottom of the deck, just to have a look at. The bottom of the deck card for me is kind of the jumping point for the reading and it's kind of giving us our kind of view this week so what needs to be focused on you need to be focusing on manifesting this week now these three cards that came out that i put face up they were jumpers so when i started shuffling the cards they immediately jumped out that's why i need to put these up here because we can't see that card there i put the camera in really close on the card so you can get a good look at the beautiful artwork on this i hate it when i look at a tarot reader on, tarot reading online and i can't see the cards properly i you know i, I want to see what the reader is looking at so we've got the card showing up as the manifest card uh the magician really in this deck um and i think that this week uh pisces it's a week for focusing on manifesting uh whatever it is that you've been dreaming of you know um i i'm a great believer in being able to manifest what it is that we dream of um you know um and it's interesting because when we look at manifesting, if you watch anything like the Abraham Hicks videos and stuff, a lot of people don't believe in this stuff, but it's true. Whatever you think about, you bring about. So why not start thinking about good things or, the, you know, really good stuff that you want to manifest? And I feel that this week, it's a week for manifesting your your dreams, your desires. It's a week for focusing on the things that you want to generate, the things that you want to create in your world, the things that you want to develop. Uh it's a week for focusing on the goals that you have and how you're going to manifest, but not just manifest. Manifestation isn't just like that. You have to work towards it and you have to kind of invest in something in order to bring something about. So it's a week for focusing on your powers of manifestation this week. Underneath this, the universe is saying that you need to take the lead this week, Pisces. All right. Um, the lead concerning the daydreams that you have, your daydreams and your decisions, because there's something that you guys are refusing to see. All right, so you need to take the lead when it comes to your daydreams. All right, and you have to make a decision, I think, as well, to take the lead. And that, that really kind of, uh, you know, gels in with this manifestation card where when we're focusing on the things that we want to conjure, because he is a conjurer, is the magician. All right, because each one of us has the power in ourselves to create what we want in everyday life. You know, each one of us has the power to create our ideal life. Uh, but some of you guys refuse to see how you're going to do that. And the universe says, well, if you want to manifest something, Pisces, then it's important that we take the lead, especially when we're dreaming about having certain things. It's important that we take the lead and we make a decision to start manifesting now. Uh, let's have a look at the next one. Um, I feel that you need to reach out to others. 
with this reach out card. It's saying to reach out. This is the week for reaching out. All right. Um, blossom. It's funny, this card, isn't it? I mean, this is... I don't know whether this is reminiscent of the uh, uh, judgment card. If you look here, can you see that? Can you see how she's starting to nurture? It reminds me of the Empress in a way as well. Starting to nurture and create. I think that you need to reach out to people who can help you nurture, create, blossom, grow, whatever this thing is. Let's have a look at the next one. Balance. Temperance. Reminiscent of. You need to balance and just breathe. All right. So it's a week for focusing on balance and your breath as well. Breathing. I think that sometimes uh, Pisces, the energy that it takes to try and manifest something, sometimes it can be a little bit disconcerting, especially if you're not seeing things that you want to evolve, evolve in the time that you want it to happen. But the universe is saying it's a week for focusing on balance, mental and emotional balance with the balance card of the temperance card here. All right. You need to be focusing on balancing your daydreams with decisions. So when I say that, I feel that it's saying that sometimes we dream about having certain things. We want certain things. We want to manifest certain things. But we don't often go and do it. We just leave it as a dream. And I think that the universe is saying it's time, uh, Pisces, this week that you kind of balance out your daydreams with the decisions that you're making. Is your dream just a dream or are you making a firm decision to go ahead and make that dream more of a reality with the manifestation card so I think in that Pisces really needs to be looking at taking the lead in this because I think that you're receive, refusing to see that probably there are people here that you can reach out to people who can help your ideas and help your dreams to blossom and grow into something that is real I think if you do ever get kind of despondent on stuff this week it's time just to take a step back and breathe out the whole thing Okay, with that Just Breathe card showing there. All right, healing beings. So I feel that you need to kind of try and get in contact or get, or really just connect. It's not even about trying. You know, healing begins. If you can just breathe, healing will begin. All right, because some of you guys, and it's a funny thing, because I don't do much in terms of chakras or, you know, healing work or anything like that. There are other people that do that type of thing. But I think that... Uh, what happens here is, is that what came to mind when I saw this card just breathe, what came to mind was all of the energy that is being suppressed because some of you guys are refusing to see that you can reach out and you can get help to blossom and grow in whatever the idea is that you have. All right, but some of you guys, you're really kind of suppressing a lot of emotions here, which is why I think the universe is saying to you, Pisces, it's time just to breathe. Just breathing, if you can breathe, healing begins and I think that when it says just breathe I think it's breathing in but also maybe letting some negative blocks out as we breathe I think this is going to bring in the healing that you need and I think that when it talks about healing it's talking about healing the broken parts inside of you Pisces that say to you I cannot manifest this this is not going to be possible because that's what happens, isn't it? We want to do something, we want to manifest something, we want to make something happen, we want to create something in our lives. And there's always that negative kind of thing in the ear that says, no, no, you can't do this. Or no, no, this isn't going to happen. Or no, no, this is not, you know, this is there is no potential for this to happen. Or you don't have the skills, or you don't have the money. There's always that kind of negative influence there saying, we don't have, we don't, we can't, we can't. There's always, like, I can't do it, or I, you know, I don't think it can be done. Or there's always some negative kind of, you know, connotation that comes along with that. There's always a, a negative kind of self-talk that comes along with this. And I think the universe is saying, well, look, if you want to manifest your highest ideals this week. And it's not to say everything is manifested this week, Pisces, but at least you make a start. If you make a start, the universe is going to start working in tandem with you. So the focus needs to be on manifesting your dreams, your desires, all right? But you need to balance out what is a daydream here and what is it that you're effectively going to go out and start manifesting. Because I think that you're refusing to see that you can reach out to others to help these ideas to blossom, all right? Whenever you get despondent or worried, just breathe. Just breathe and the healing begins. Because when you start to breathe, you let the breath out. And when you let the breath out, you're letting all of that negative energy out. That's when the healing begins. Because you really need to be working from a far more kind of affirmative, positive standpoint. Let's have a look at the next one here. Share the love. 
Share your love. But it's not just about sharing your love, it's about sharing your gifts. He's got a gift in his hand. So for me, this is all about sharing your gifts. I think this might be kind of like the Empress card, but share the love, share your gifts. Win or lose. And I think that what it's saying here with it, I love this card, win or lose, because win or lose for me is kind of like, well, it's the gamble card for me with the win or lose. I think it, I, this might, I think this might be, um, I'm not sure what card the card is. It reminds me of it could be kind of something like the Five of Swords. But win or lose, you've just got to share your gifts. You've just got to share what you have. You know, and, and, and I, I was kind of saying this funnily enough, Pisces, in the Scorpio reading when I started that one. And I think their reading was talked was along the lines of, you've got to go out there and do something. Take a gamble. Because some of you guys are playing it safe, I said to Scorpio. You know, you'll only do something if you think there, there is the assurity of success. That's not always how things work. Sometimes you've just got to take that risk and see how it works out. You know? So I think that when the universe is kind of talking to you on this reading, you know, let's go back to the beginning. The universe is saying, look, this is a week for manifesting your desires. That's the manifestation, God. You have the power. You have the skill. You have the resources. You know, you've got the spirit. You've got the feeling. You've got the ideas. You've got the vision to do all of this stuff. You may not have the physical resources for some of you guys, but you've certainly got a lot more than you think to enable you to manifest whatever the desire is. But the first thing that you need to do is take the lead in this. How do we take the lead? Well, we need to balance out, well, what is a daydream and what is it that we're effectively going to be moving towards with that daydreams and decisions car, all right? Because some of you guys are literally refusing to see that you can reach out to people. There are people you can reach out to and you can ask them for help. You can ask them to help your idea or whatever the thing is to grow, to blossom, all right? To manifest itself into a tangible reality, okay? Uh, when you become despondent, when you become negative, when you become unsure, when you become uncertain, Pisces, just take a step back and breathe. Because it is there that the healing begins. If you can breathe in, you can breathe out that negative energy that is stopping you from achieving this thing. Finally, share your gifts. Just share your gifts. Regardless of whether you win or lose, share your gift. Because if you don't share it, you'll never know whether you can achieve what it is that you're setting out to achieve. All right, my darlings, I'm going to have a look at the work reading. Bear with me. Okay, Pisces, let's have a look at your work situation this week. We have death. Okay, so there could be an ending coming in, a big, big change. You've got that death card showing here. Uh... The Hermit, okay. I, I think there's a, an ending coming in. I think that you're very close to a transition here in work with this Hermit energy. Some of you guys are withdrawing from a job with the Hermit energy showing here. So an ending, withdrawal with that Hermit energy. Some of you guys, there's an ending here. You're looking perhaps, investigating something else. Or maybe you're investigating, looking in very carefully to something else. Changes within the workplace showing here. But death is usually the ending of a job and the hermit can be withdrawing from the job or the hermit can be that you're very close to some form of transition showing here. Because you've got the hermit in death. This is like an old person dying, for example. So it's, for example, this could be like, um, how can I say? This could be like retirement. So with the hermit, you've been in a job a really long time. Some of you guys might be very close to retirement if, you work, if you're watching this uh, if you're watching this reading, you're at that certain age. Uh, nine of Wands energy. But I'm getting a real tiredness here with the Nine of Wands energy. A real tiredness. Some of you guys have really been trying, struggling. It's been an uphill battle. So some of you guys are kind of researching, I think, with that Hermit energy, leaving your job. So you're probably saying, you know what? Actually, I'm looking into something else now because I've really, really been struggling in the job that I'm in with this Nine of Wands energy. And we have the Eight, Seven of Cups energy. Some of you guys have been imagining, perhaps, because this is about imagination. Uh, yeah, some of you guys are imagining yourself being Six of Wands, being successful being appreciated, being cared about, uh, you know, being in prime position, being promoted for some of you guys. You're definitely imagining that this week. And that's why I think that some of you guys are very close now with this hermit energy to leaving the job. 
you're definitely looking into it you're looking online for jobs you're doing all of that stuff there's a great deal of tiredness here with that nine of wands energy imagining yourself with the six of wands energy it's not about overcoming this energy it's about being appreciated and loved maybe in another job somewhere else there's a lot of kind of conflict here, I think, within the work with the Five of Wands. A lot of com competition, probably, with the Five of Wands energy uh, showing here. Temperance energy. But we can see this is not competition. It may be competition for some of you guys, but I do feel that there's a great... This is more worry for Pisces. So there's a lot of worry here. There's a lot of fear. There's a lot of anxiety. With the Temperance energy, I feel that this is finally going to dissipate with that um, Temperance energy showing here. Okay, Queen of Cups. Some of you guys needing to speak to someone. I don't think that this is you with the queen of cups energy i think this is someone that you're speaking to all right so all of these worries can dissipate i think if you speak to someone so i think this is advice i think it's saying that worries dissipate if you speak to someone pisces queen of cups energy probably about the amount of work that you've got on with the ten of wands for some of you guys have been just work has just been pushed on you like really terrible with these cards showing here okay uh seven of coins energy some of you guys are reviewing with the seven of coins energy i think that you're really tired you need to talk to someone about the amount of work that you've been put on that's been put on you because you're not coping with it with this ten of wands energy some of you guys may be reviewing another opportunity here we're going to get this work reading again for what the uh, the what the universe sees this week uh pisces is that some of you guys definitely looking into a transition you're looking to move jobs you're definitely looking to do it you've got that hermit and the death card showing here both of these cards are somebody who's transitioning from one phase into another and you're definitely he's got the book in front of him you're definitely looking into that some of you guys may have already left a job but i feel that you're still in something here and i think that you're definitely looking for a transition i think there's a lot of tiredness around here with the nine of ones you're tired of the people that you're working with look at their faces they look just like they don't give a shit and they look some of them look like they've been bullying you as well I'm getting bullying here for some of you guys. So some of you guys are really, really tired of this. Really tired of it. And you're imagining yourself being in a place where you're appreciated, loved and supported because you don't feel supported. All right. I feel that some of you guys also with the five of wands energy have probably been experiencing, um, probably been experiencing a lot of conflict with co-workers with that five of wands, a lot of competitive energy. But also what I'm seeing here, Pisces, a lot of worry here, a lot of anxiety showing up here is going to be rectified. So the universe is saying, well, look, all of this energy that you're feeling here, because that's why you guys want to leave this. That's why you're focusing on leaving the job, because you've been kind of just been trying to carry on for so so long and it's become more difficult over time pisces and you've been imagining yourself being really supported because you're probably not supported in the job but the university is saying well look all of these worries that you've got can dissipate if you just go and speak to someone go and speak to them probably about the treatment that you've endured but also about the amount of heavy work that they put on you the heavy workload the amount of projects that you're expected to do especially for the money that you get paid some of you guys probably not even getting paid enough as well so you need to definitely speak to somebody about this there could also be new opportunities coming in in terms of work as well all right bear with me guys i'm going to come back with your love reading okay pisces let's have a look at love this week what is it saying oh five of swords so five of swords can be about getting hurt five of swords can be about abuse in a relationship as well when you get a five of swords card and it's a relationship reading sometimes you've got a partner who can be if you said get five of swords and the page of wands that's somebody who's making all seven of swords and page of wands somebody who's making snidey remarks you know somebody can be quite snidey with that card there can be a lot of hurt and conflict in relationships with the five of swords energy showing here um i feel that uh somebody is distancing themselves well there's been an argument with this five of swords energy now the eight of coins is all about putting the work into a relationship okay so maybe somebody's cutting themselves off with the five of swords energy from putting work into the relationship here with the pisces uh, pisces okay you've got strength however you're going to overcome obstacles here so it may be that there have been there's been some disconnect here with this five of swords energy or if you look at the card here you've got one person here and one person here and two people here it's just i mean it doesn't have to be three people obviously but it's just really showing the disconnection between people Especially when it comes to the eight of coins, having to put some effort into the relationship. You might find that you get into some conflict or squabbles or something like that concerning the work that one has to put into a relationship. I do feel with the strength energy, though, you're showing as overcoming the obstacle with strength showing here. So if you do have obstacles about how much effort or work, I mean, it may simply be, you know, it doesn't have to be that the partner's not interested. It could be, well, how much work are you putting into the home? 
you don't clean the home, you don't do this, you don't do that, you don't do the other, it's left to me. Could be something as mundane and practical as that. But I feel that you're overcoming that with that strength energy showing here. Let's have a look at the next one. The two of coins. So two of coins can be weighing things up. Two of coins can also be somebody who is juggling two people. Let's have a look at the next one. The ace of coins energy. Okay, the Ace of Coins. So the Ace of Coins is all about, uh, when it comes to a relationship, it's about commitment or starting to invest in a relationship. So this is building a relationship. All right. Um, the Two of Coins, so this is doubling efforts. All right. I think that somebody's going to be doubling up their efforts to put, up, uh, to put the Ace of Coins in there. The Two of Coins could be when you're doubling something here. You know, you're making twice the effort, for example. You're doubling up something. You're doubling up the Ace of Coins energy doubling up commitment for example because it follows this card here where I feel that you're overcome coming the energy off this it feels like somebody is doubling up on the effort of this commitment kind of like they're making more of an effort with the two of coins and the ace of coins type thing uh let's look at the next card but there are worries here with the nine of swords and anxieties with the nine of swords energy about temperance energy i feel that uh, some of you guys it's either you, i think it's you uh, more than anything here pisces i think more than anything you're worried about whether this situation can be you know kind of long-standing the temperance energy is kind of if you think about temperance in a way it kind of reminds me of the number eight is it the lemma or something like that you know it's a it's, a, it's about kind of how long it takes. Is it going to be forever? You know, because you're worried about the temperance energy. So how long are you guys going to have this truce? Because temperance is all about a truce. You see here, the woman is serving both of them juices. So they've reached a truce. They didn't get it. And this is you and the person here, Pisces. So you're kind of like, oh man. Or some of you guys are kind of like, I can't see this lasting with this temperance energy. I can't see this harmony lasting. I just can't see it. Some of you guys will probably say that. Uh, nine of Cups energy. So the Nine of Cups energy is all about happiness. Some of you guys don't see lasting happiness here in this relationship. You don't see this happiness lasting. But you've got the Nine of the Ten. Oh no, but it's nice. Some of you guys are scared that the, about this lasting. or It's not scared about it lasting, you just can't see it lasting. But I think it could. So I've got a nine of cups here, satisfaction, ten of cups within a family, within a long-term union here, and lots of nurturing afterwards. So I actually feel that some of you guys are a little bit kind of like dubious about this, but I don't think you should worry about it. I mean, I, you know, these two cards, they are Pisces cards. Nine of cups and ten of cups is Pisces. Nine of cups is second deacon Pisces, ten of cups is third. And this can be, both cards can represent illusions as well. But I don't think it's that at all. I really don't. I think that this is not an illusion here. Some of you guys are worried. You may be worried that this is all an illusion. All of it. I want to read it two ways, actually. I want to read it two ways. Um, I'll read the top line the same, though. Okay. Um, <coughs> I feel that there are arguments here for some of you guys in terms of how much effort a relationship, a person in the relationship is putting in. If you're watching four Pisces, then maybe it's the Pisces that's doing it, okay? Right? So let's just get that in there first. Because some of you say, oh, no, you're reading it wrong. It's not it's not Pisces that's worrying. It's me that's worrying because it's the Pisces. If it's the Pisces that's doing it, then, yeah, I hold my hands up and I say it's Pisces. But this is Pisces reading. So I'm saying for you, it looks like there are arguments here. There's some disruption here with the Five of Swords energy. Some of you guys are feeling hurt with the Five of Swords energy showing here. Feeling hurt, feeling doubtful, feeling despondent with the Five of Swords energy. It's about how much work somebody's putting into a relationship. I do feel, though, with the strength energy, you're going to overcome that obstacle. You can see the dog on the lap of this woman here. So dogs on cards mean commitment and loyalty. So I think that you're going to overcome this, and I think that everything is going to be kind of like tickety-boo. Because I do feel that there's going to be a doubling of effort in terms of the work. So it's almost like this person's working overtime with that two of coins. I'm seeing this person, whoever it is that you've got beef with about... The effort that they put into you, I see them putting in the effort. Some of you guys, though, are kind of with this Nine of Swords energy, worrying about whether this can last. You're worrying about whether this can be sustained with the Temperance energy. You're kind of, I'm a little bit worried whether, you know, this can be sustained. Is it going to last? Are we going to, are we going to be okay in the long run? But I do feel that you will. I think with the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups, some of you guys may be worried in the long run if this is going to be just an illusion. You're worried, is it going to last? Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups energy, is it all an illusion? Because they're your cards, because they're your cards, then this would be probably your illusion. So you're saying, 
oh, I'm worried about whether this can last. Is this all in my mind? Is this all in my illusion being that Pisces is nine of cups and ten of cups? That's your cards. These are people, your, the Pisces is, uh, Pisces rules the nine and the ten of cups. So you're like, I'm worried about whether this is going to last. Is this all in my imagination? Is this all an illusion? You know? Am I creating as well? Because empresses, when you get an empress sitting next to a card, it creates whatever is in front of it or whatever is behind it. So some of you guys are like, I'm worried about whether... You see, the partner is doubling up on the effort, but some of you guys worrying, is this sustainable with the temperance? Because temperance will always be sustainable. All we're doing is, is we're kind of putting one water from one thing to the other, from one thing to the other to try and create balance. And you're worried and you're saying, I don't know whether this is going to be sustainable here. You know, am I creating with the Empress energy an illusion with the nine and the ten of cups? Some of you guys are worried that you're creating an illusion about this and that maybe it's not sustainable. And then for some of you guys, it may be that you're worried about whether this is long lasting, but it may be well, no, it is. There's great happiness and, and uh, contentment within this relationship here. And somebody really wants to nurture it. Somebody really cares. They really want to nurture it. These are lovely cards together. But sometimes they can be a bit an illusionary here. And this can be the creation of that illusion. Very interesting reading. Let's have a look at what the advice is from the angels on the reading in on a whole. Okay. Universe Spirit, what is the advice that you have? Fairy cards. What is the advice you have for Pisces this week? What is the spiritual advice this week, please? So celebration. So it says, get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. Of course. Of course, we're going into your birthday month, aren't we? Is it birth? Is it your Pisces today? Oh, my goodness. Of course. It's your birthday month coming up. I forgot all about that. Sorry, Pisces. Happy birthday. I'll put you up first then. Celebration. So get ready to let your hair down and celebrate. It's time to go out to dance, play, and in, uh, play. Um... An invitation could be on the way, so it's probably your invitation being sent out because it's your birthday, isn't it? It's your birthday month. I'll have to check it out. I think we're in the time of Pisces now, the 21st of... Fe I think we went in yesterday, didn't we, or something like that. Yeah, celebration, happy birthday. So it's telling you to have a good time because it's your birthday month, and this could be your birthday here. Some of you guys are worrying about whether it's going to be long-lasting, but it may be that the partner is making a lot of an effort because it's your birthday month. And they want to make you happy with the Empress energy. This person, it's your birthday month. They want to make you happy. So if you are arguing with someone over the effort they put in, it will be overcome because this person, I think, is going to double their efforts. They're going to double the work that they've been putting in. You may be worried about this being long-lasting, but I actually feel here, and some of you guys, it's like, I don't know whether I, I'm creating an illusion, but I think in the main, you're not, because I think that this person, because it's your birthday month, the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups is like the celebration cards. It's like the family parties, that type of thing. So because it's your birthday month, I think this person may be extra nice with that Empress. Lovely. All right. Happy birthday, Pisces. Love you loads. If you'd like to order a reading, click on the link in my uh, on the uh, on the channel. It's in the uh, description box and also the comments and at the end of the video. All right. Take care, guys. Love you. Happy birthday. Bye.